Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. This episode's going to be about WAN 2.2 Funvase. So not WAN 2.2 Vase standalone by itself, but this is Vase which is part of the fun collection, such as the in-painting and the control camera that I've done in previous videos. It's not as good as WAN 2.1 standalone Vase. However, it does have some things that are quite good such as background movement so this is worth giving a go if we look up here on the vase collection on what it does I'm just going to go over these first three so the typical reference to video one where we have two characters and put them in a video scene together next one I'm just going to do this uh, character where we'll do an output there and then I'm going to do the pose transfers so someone's movement so for the pose we've got our character there we then upload our movement video it goes into the DW pose estimator and puts out our images we saw at the start the other one we're going to look at we're going to have the image over here in this case I've got an alien and a spaceship and then we're going to make a prompt that puts those together so I've done two examples here got the spaceship sort of going behind them on a wasteland and this one I had another character in it that comes into the background and I'll just lastly look at how uh, out painting so that's our end result we'll just look at our start one so we've got our image over here just a still image and goes to that nice output so stick around if you want to learn how to do that subscribe and like starting with the pose transfer workflow i had a bit of trouble getting this going and it has to be done in the one video wrapper so cannot do this in the native format so anyway let's have a look at the top here and we've got how text to video ggf i'm using the q4 version low and high as you're used to with the two split models um, I've got block swap on these at 40 this thing is quite heavy right so I've got a block swap on that one and I've got a block swap on the top one as well and we've got our low noise uh, four step Laura there and we've got the high noise four step Laura at the top there and this is where our vase goes in right see it's got extra model it doesn't go into the one that says vase model it goes into the one that says extra model i'm using the q4 ggf just remember if you're using a ggf vase model you also have to have a ggf base model as well if you want it the other way around if you want a safe tensor in there then you have to have a safe tensor in there my computer could not handle it with the safe tensors so I have to use the GGUF but if your computer's like 24 gig VRAM and above you're probably better going for the safe tensors you'll have a better quality output and down here there is a LoRa I've got it turned off at the moment that's an in-paint LoRa um, just testing that with that on and off just to see how it goes down here I've got the UMT5 XXL scaled safe tensor and right next to that I've got the WAN 2.1 VAE and that's all the models you should need. When writing the prompt don't get too complicated I've just got a woman dancing if you start writing other stuff because it's a text to video model it'll start drawing other things in there so just keep it simple. The video itself will govern the length of the video you're making this one is just your typical 5 second 81 frames 480 custom height so just make sure those settings haven't been changed um, so it does the exact amount and then when you look through here you can see that your image over here also resizes the image that's where you're choosing what you want in this case it's 512 by 512 a square and up there the pose is being pulled out at 512 by 512 you can adjust those to get what you want don't go too far or well, that's going to end up with some weird sort of movement going on I've just uploaded an image from a past video just to show you the consistency of movement with this base so we'll go over here let's have a look and it's pretty good for a Q4 GGUF and remembering my vase is Q4 as well so you can if you've got movement you can push it up to a Q8 
just uploaded another photo from one of my other videos and this is really good as well probably even better than one 2.1 base maybe um, i have to do some more tests on that but anyway you could use a still from the first frame put that through google banana turn it to cartoon and then instead of having the dw pose estimator you could put the canny in there and that way you'll get some real good cartoon animations and you could use depth as well so that's another thing worth trying out in this out paint workflow i pretty much deleted all the control net stuff so got rid of the dw pose estimator and just connected the image back up to the reference image in my prompt i just pretty much described the picture more so in this i just wrote a magical monkey surrounded by glowing crystals holding a lantern with magic butterflies around that came out a lot better than i thought it would image reference to video workflow the same as the last one i've just uploaded a picture with the items on a white background i haven't made multiple load image boxes yet i'll probably put that as a workflow on my patreon at the moment just testing and you can use photoshop to do this or use uh, photo p which is free online or you can go into google nano banana and ask it to arrange it on the white background like that once you've got it through put your prompt in and that's where it all comes down to right i've been having lots of goes with this and it really is down to the prompt so alien uh, walking and looking around wasteland purple spaceship hovers camera pulls back and the result i got from that the other one's one i did before it where i had another character near the red character as well as an image reference and one thing to notice about this version of uh, vase is that the movement is a lot faster backgrounds are better so that's one benefit of this here's an example where it didn't quite work properly i've got a guy in a pink jacket but it's put him in green switching to pink and the other one is gone from a half orange half green to changing to pink and it almost looks like the man turns into a woman as he's running back however notice the background the background is really good unlike normal one or other base this is probably the best one that does good backgrounds doesn't morph them too much and has a lot of fast movement where do we get the models i'm going to have all of these links in the comments but this one here is our actual vase module the gguf i'm using those q4s i could probably try the q8 so i haven't done that it's not that much bigger and i think i'll be able to do that and it'll probably have a way better quality output for those but I also need to be choosing my high noise and low noise on the text to video. So I'm using the Q4s on those as well. I could probably push them up. How long I want to wait, I guess. Um, you need both of those. Low noise as well. Over here, choose a lightning lure from this group. You'll also need your fun in-paint lures. You'll need the VAE in here. And you'll need your text encoder, which is the scaled safe tensor. So put the models in the diffusion folder, put the VAE in the VAE folder, the text encoder in the text and folder, and the LORAs in the LORA folder. I'm going to have a go at some of these other VASE outputs so I can get back to you with another video. Meanwhile, subscribe if you haven't. Like watch my videos uh longer so that gives me more watch hours i do have a long length workflow on my patreon for sale if you want to purchase that and we'll see you next time